Yo, what's going on, bro? Good morning, afternoon, evening. I don't know when you're watching this, but I hope it helps you, impacts you, inspires you, change your perspective, makes you think, helps you make progress towards whatever it is you're working towards. Is that a good intro? I don't know. Let's talk about instant gratification, man. Um, I think it's really, really interesting that instant gratification has been such a big talk on social media for so long. But most people just are like, okay, so the world's different now, right? You got you got weed, you got drugs, you got video games, you got porn, you got junk food, you got everything social media, you got everything formulated to play with your reward pathways in your brain. And therefore, you have all these addictions and all these things that are pulling you, so stop doing that and do delayed gratification instead. But the issue, <laughs> the issue with taking that approach to it is simply just that since you've been conditioned for so long to seek out instant gratification, to seek out a big perceived reward for very low or little to no effort, even if you go into a delayed gratification type of mindset, you're still conditioned for instant gratification. So you're just gonna be like, all right, my whole focus now is just result. I just want the end result. I, I still want the reward as quickly as possible for as little effort, but now it's a delayed gratification thing. So if you're trying to get fit, if, you're, if you've been conditioned for instant gratification, it's just gonna be like, oh bro, I need to get fit as ASAP, as fast as possible. And I got stuck in that loop where you end up eating way too little food just to try and see those pounds shed off quicker. Or you try and start building a business, right? And your whole brain goes, okay, what's the fastest way to build an audience online? What's the fastest way to get money into my bank account? What's the fastest way to do it? And although you're focused on something that's worthwhile, you're, you're going at it with the mindset of how quickly can I do this? And that won't get you far. The whole mindset has to change. I talk about this mindset flip so often on my channel because it changed my fucking life. Actions over results. There's a quote from Wes Watson that I fucking, basically I should just like, I say it every day. He who takes more action, he who takes more pride in the action it takes to attain the result and the result itself, he can't be stopped. And the reason for that is because if you are completely focused on the action that it takes to attain the result, and that's where you validate yourself, that's where you actually are like, okay, if I'm trying to lose weight, the things that I validate myself with are, did I eat in alignment with my calories and macros and did I do my workout? That's where I validate myself. You don't validate yourself based on, oh, how much weight have I seen fall off the scale? How am I looking in the mirror? If you validate yourself there, you don't get to ever feel good along the journey. You never get to feel good along the journey. And when you've been conditioned to solely focus on feeling good, it makes no sense. You end up depressed the entire journey and when you're depressed since you've been conditioned for instant gratification your first thought will be okay I feel like shit I'm gonna do something that will bring me instant pleasure and that's how you get caught in that loop if your focus is simply oh I need to stick to this diet and eat this food and that's where I actually validate myself that's what actually makes me feel good when I sit down at the end of the day and I'm able to cross those two things off my list knowing I 100% without a shot beyond a shadow of a doubt I made progress I made progress today and that's a W and that's where you have to hype yourself up if you can flip your perspective there it's like it's it's like it's like a level deeper than just like instant gratification delayed gratification now it's we're actually going deeper into your brain on like dude where what makes you tick what is the thing that really allows you to feel like you're making progress a lot of people feel like they're making progress when they see the results but again if your whole focus is in the result you're not going to be able to stick with the actions long enough to see the result I've done it too many times, man, where I'm <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight and my whole focus is, okay, how quickly can I drop this? For me, it was 75 pounds. How quickly can I drop this 75 pounds? And all that led to is me being depleted, drained. I was fucked up. I was fucked up. I couldn't... I remember I would be going on runs and walks and I'd be training at the gym and I'd be getting lightheaded. And I'd be like... This is probably not healthy, but you know what else isn't healthy? Being fat. So I would justify it to myself, but that doesn't make sense. 
what it really changed for me it was when I decided okay I just care about did I do my workout and did I eat the right amount of calories and macros I might maybe my maybe the weight goes up a little bit in the morning maybe the weight stays the same maybe I don't get to see the results that I want to see as soon as I want to see them but I will get to see the results this way eventually I will get to see the results this way the same thing goes for any business both of the times where I've seen big growth on my channel, I was like, dude, I have 2,000 subscribers, which by the way, that is fucking dope. I, <laughs> I, I've been stuck at like 1,800 for a few months because I hadn't been posting. And I was like, man, <laughs> I was focused on the result. I was like, man, I just, want, I just want an audience so that when I post, I have a lot of people commenting and I can, like, we have like this back and forth and stuff in this community. But then I had to check myself and be like, yo, if that is the result that I want, and I'm frustrated that I don't see that result yet, what are the actions that will lead to that? And that's where I need to validate myself. And so the first time I really started posting daily, I saw a big boost in my channel, and that was the end of 2022. 2022, I started posting really, really consistently, and I was seeing a lot of progress. And then I got jaded, and I got caught up more in results. I was trying to get more coaching clients, more more everything. And it changed the energy behind what I was doing. It changed everything. And I've brought my focus back into alignment with like, he who takes more pride and the action it takes to attain the result and the result itself cannot be stopped. And you know what the action, the, what the action that it takes to attain the result that I'm looking for in terms of YouTube is post every single day and post things that are valuable post things that will make people think, that will change the perspective, that will help them in some way. And so that's what I'm focused on now. And I validate myself on it. So when I set out in the morning, like, okay, I need to film three videos today because I got time to do it today. Or I need to write two like long form videos, the, like the full things that I do on Notion now, which by the way, I love making those videos. I need to write those today. And that's where I validate myself. I do that and now, I look at the past week. I've only been posting daily for a week. And I've gained like 150 subscribers. We're about to hit 2K. Like this this morning, I think I woke up to like 1978 or something. And like less than a week ago, I was at 1840. And I had been at 1840 for so long. And again, it's all just actions. The input and the output. But if you focus on the input and the, like if you don't, if you're focused on the output and that's all you care about, the input won't have any, any intention behind it. There'll be no power behind it. And because of that, you'll feel like shit the entire time, putting in those inputs until you get to experience the output. And unfortunately, <laughs> since, since the result isn't actually what you care about, I know you think it is, but the result isn't what you actually care about. You'll get that result and then your brain will be like, okay, what's next? And then guess what? You're focused on another result and you have more actions to take, but you're just, you're just going through the motions. That's the issue with instant gratification. It's not actually the things that, like you can indulge in instant gratification sometimes. That's not actually the problem. The problem is that you have to be very, very aware of what that is training your brain to do when it comes to things that are actually worthwhile. Instant gratification will train your brain to have a very, very skewed mindset around what you want to do, what you act, what actually matters to you. And so as long as you're able to be aware of that, I've found that I can play some video games here and there. I can, like, I can go out for a drink with some people or I can smoke some weed here and there. And when, when your priorities get really, really dialed in and focused, and, and you actually understand what your priorities are, it's not hard to moderate. Because then, and because then your awareness is there and you can sit there and be like, okay, yeah, I feel this urge to go do this thing right now, but I've, I've committed to something else. And over time, I have proven to myself through daily actions that I'm someone who will follow through on what they've committed to. So, my actionable step for this video, what I would ask you to do is over the next week, set five tasks every single day 
that are completely within your control. No one else can decide whether or not you get them done. So, and no other outside circumstances can decide whether or not you get them done. So if you're trying to lose weight, it's the diet, it's the exercise. If you're trying to become more present, it's the meditation. If you're trying to up your knowledge, it's the reading. It's the cutting me off. What the fuck? Okay. Um, set five tasks and make sure that you check them off. And when you do check them off, make it like a exciting thing for you. Make it like, okay, that was actually a big win for me. That was dope. That was, that was me stepping closer to my goals. You cut me off to do this? My goodness. Focus on the action it takes to attain the result, not the result itself. And every single time you do an action that you know is bringing you closer to your goals, make that a reward. You can mentally make that a reward. It doesn't have to, you decide the feelings that you get from certain things. So do things and force yourself to be like, yeah, that was a W. Every time I do cardio, bro, every time I do cardio, my brain's like, okay, stop at 15 stop at 20, stop at 25, and I push myself through all the way to 30, and right when I hit 30, I it sounds cringe and dumb, but I'm talking to myself like, that was fucking sick. I just pushed through that, and I told myself, I taught myself, I conditioned myself a little bit more that what I am urged to, to do is not actually what needs to happen. If I've committed to something, I can follow through on that, okay? That's the goal here. Don't see instant gratification as the enemy. Instant gratification is just part of life. And especially nowadays, bro, it's it's everywhere. And if you want to enjoy your life, instant gratification is going to be part of it. I promise you. It's going to. So instead of avoiding it and making it like this enemy to like stay away from, which is miserable, by the way, just learn how to manage it. And learning how to manage it isn't so much about the techniques and tactics. It's more so about the type of person that you become in the process of that. Because if you become a type of person who does what they're committed to, regardless of outside circumstances, you win. You win. I hope this video helps you, man. If you want a team of people to link with and kind of share your wins with and ask questions and connect with who are all on self-improvement man all on personal development join the discord it's free link in the description if you want to die run across the street what the fuck dude this is nuts um follow me on instagram and x at colter Varis. and if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching or a consultation it's my website marchonward.ca I appreciate you watching, man. I hope this helped you. I hope it changed your perspective, made you think, and I hope you make progress today. Peace out, bro.